own shame, ain't it, Charlie? Yep, sure is. Doc said she had pneumonia. Time he got here, wasn't much to do but call the sheriff. Well, didn't anyone know she was sick? First thing anybody knew was him riding all the way in for the dock by himself. Brent, boy have any relatives? Not a soul, Ben, except an uncle back east and the boy's father, of course. Where's the little fella gonna stay? Well, how about it, folks? None of you want him? We got our own to worry about. Well, I guess I could put him up in one of the cells till his uncle can come get him. He's only a little boy. He's all alone now. He, he needs a home and affection. He's tainted, that kid. Bad stock? The whole tree goes rotten sooner or later. I don't want him around my home. Come on, Sarah. Well, I can't stay here all day, Ben. Sheriff. Send for the boys, Uncle. I'll keep the boy with me on the Ponderosa. All right. He's all yours, Ben. That's a, it's a pretty flower. Weeds will choke it out before it takes root. Uh, son, you'll, uh, you'll be staying at my ranch till your uncle can come for you. Pa said he'd come back for me. And I'm gonna be waiting right here until he does. Well, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'd better get your things from the cabin. I'll go myself. Ross, there's a lot of hate piled up inside that boy. Yes, sir. Secret? It's nothing. Well, you you don't have to show it to me if you don't want it. Let's just have a little talk. Mr. Cartwright, look, you've let me sleep here and you've let me eat here. All right, thanks. But I can do chores. I can help now, with... Now, hold the on there. Uh, you don't have to pay me back. We're friends. Uh, I want you to trust me. Well, there's no one else left, son. There is two. My pa. Do you know where your pa is? Why he went away? He had to go away. My ma said so. My pa promised he'd be coming back, though. Well, you know, <laughs> Billy, uh, sometimes we, uh, we promise things and we... Well, we mean to keep the promise, but, well, something happens and we can't. My pa promised he'd be coming back. And I'm going to be waiting here until he does. He doesn't tell lies. Why is he so touchy, Pa? Hmm? You don't have to get close enough to reach him with a ten-foot pole. Well, how should I know why he's so touchy? If I knew that, I'd be so dang worried. Take your feet off the table. 
Hey, Hoss, how do you suppose you and I grew up to be so sweet-tempered with such a grouch for a pa? I don't know, little Joe. I reckon he must have been a mite more mellower when he was younger. I guess I had that coming. That boy has me so... so worried. I... Now, when's his uncle coming? Sheriff hasn't heard yet. Well, if he's got to know about his father sooner or later, maybe you should just uh, tell him. Mr. Cartwright! Mr. Cartwright, come quick! Pops thinks oh. having trouble again. Mr. Cartwright! What is, what is it? What's wrong? Him bad. Him very bad boy. Oh, what did he do? He take half sing knife. The big knife. What, the butcher knife? I see him. I say, you give back. He say, no. Very sharp. You better get back quick. All right, I'm saying all right. Well, I've just got to discipline that boy somehow. Wait a minute, Paul. Let me talk to him. Well, don't you think I'm capable of talking to him? Well, yes, sir, you are. But maybe you've been talking to us rough next so long you done forgot how to talk to a little feller. Maybe you're right. Go ahead. Hoss. Yes, sir. Be careful of that knife. Billy. Did you find one of Hop Singh's knives out here? I didn't find it. I took it. Oh. Go ahead, let me see you chunk it. Go on. Hey, that ain't bad. It's hard to throw. Well, I don't wonder. Come here, let me show you something. See, this here knife's got a thick edge here on the back and a thin edge here on the front. Sure, that's the cutting edge. That's right. You see, this knife here was made for carving up meat, not throwing, not like an engine's knife. I didn't want it to throw. I wanted it to whittle. Hey, how'd you like to have this one? No, thanks. Well, Billy, I, I wasn't going to give it to you. You got to earn it. How? Well, by, by doing some chores for me tomorrow. Well, all right. Here, go ahead and take it. You just hold on to it sort of as a loan until you can do them chores for me. Thanks, Mr. Cartwright. It's just one other thing. Son, it ain't right to take something that don't belong to you. Let me take that knife back. Let me, let me take it into him. Old Hop Singh's pretty riled up right now, won't you? Won't you let me take it in to him, then you can go by and tell him you're sorry later. All right, if you want it that way. Hop Singh! What are you doing in Hop Singh kitchen? I just brought your knife back, Hop Singh. That's so? The little boy take knife. The big boy take a donut. Bad boy. Very bad boy. I, I got some real important things to be doing, Hop Singh. I'll see you. Who's there? Me, Hop. Just a minute. I sort of thought I'd come up and show you some real fancy whittling. I'm sort of busy now, Mr. Cartwright.
Billy. Where'd you cut yourself, fella? What do you mean? Bill. Don't you think it's about time me and you quit playing around like a couple of puppy dogs? Don't know when they're fighting for real or just funning. Let me see it. I knew you'd cut yourself when I first come up here. Should have come right on out and said it in the first place. It hurt? No. Yeah, I got some medicine here for it. Will it sting? Well, that's not a bad cut. They always seem like they bleed a little bit more when they're on the thumb, though. Here's your knife back, Mr. Cartwright. Billy, that wasn't your fault. It was all mine. Any fool ought to know better than to give a man something that he, he don't know how to use right. Hmm. I shouldn't have told you I knew how to use it. Everybody makes mistakes, Billy. But it takes a real man to admit it. You go ahead and use that knife to lie. Learn you how to use it. Gee, thanks, Mr. Cartwright. Horse. If that thumb don't get the feeling better, you let me hear, you know? Billy. Are you hungry? Yeah, I guess I am. Well, what do you say me and you go down and get us a couple of them donuts while Hobbsing ain't looking? Would that be all right? All right? Well, you'd be downright insulted if any of them things was left by supper. Well... Besides that, I'm bigger than he is. <laughs> You're about bigger than anyone, Hoss. Come on. Hey, Hoss. You want to see something? Yeah, I reckon I do. What? Picture of my ma and pa. It has Ellen and Vance on the back. Your ma was a real pretty woman, Billy. That's the only thing that's really mine. Except for this knife now. You know something? It sure is gonna be fun when my pa gets back. Ain't it? Yeah, Billy. It's liable to be a while, though. I can wait. Come on. got something I can use on this iron. I can barely walk. <laughs> Old fool. You've come too far to play games. Here, stone chisel. That ought to do it. Yeah. Plenty of paper money. That's luck. We can get straight to Sacramento now. No, Pike. We agreed. I go for the boy first. I ain't getting killed for no kid. We need him, Pike. He can get food for us. 
It's a long way through those mountains. You wouldn't try and lose me, would you, Vance? You know these mountains and I don't. How do I know you'll come back for me? You keep the money here with you. All right. I'll give you 48 hours. If you're not back, I go on without you. No money goes with me. I'll be back. Sure you will. Now, you better get that thing off your leg while I get us a change of clothes. Then you and me will find me a place to wait for 48 hours. Morning, Ben. What brings you out our way, Fred? It's about election time again, is the Sheriff? Where's the boy, Ben? Oh, Billy? Oh, he's off fishing with Hoss. Say, did you hear from his uncle? Nope, but we sure heard from his father. Him and a killer named Pike broke out of the penitentiary. When? Three days ago. And yesterday, I got word a stagecoach was held up about 30 miles from here. The driver and guard both killed. You think it was Vance? I don't know, but there ain't been no trace of him since they killed a farmer right next to the prison. Probably on their way to California. They'd be safe there. That's what I figured. Vance knows this country well enough to slip right past us into the mountains. Yes, he does. And there are three passes into the mountains from the Ponderosa. I was hoping you and your boys would point him out for us. Oh, well, uh, we'll be right with you. Thanks, Ben. We'll wait for you. I'll take some end of the truck here. Adam, you and Joe will have to take the sheriff all the way to the Donner Gap. I'll take a couple of days. No. Hoss better look after the boy. I'll get back here as fast as I can. Tell Hopsing to rustle up some food. Right, Pa. Fits like you got over there. Ow. Hear what I done cost. <laughs> well, I ain't never seen no fish like that before. You're not sore, are you, Hoss? The pistol, you know I ain't sore at you. I told you I'd catch something, didn't I? Even with my eyes shut. Now, I'll tell you what else I'm going to do. I'm going to throw you out there no. with the rest of them. No, that's not One, two, and a three. <laughs> if I ever hear anything about this from little Joe or Adam, well, I know a little boy that's going to have a mighty sore bottom. Oh, I wouldn't tell on you. Well, I wouldn't spank you either, Billy. I was just teasing. Hoss? I wish I were this happy all the time. I do too, Billy.
Hello, son. Pa. I'll come back for you, just like I promised I would. I knew you would, Pa. I just knew it. Easy, boy. We can't talk much. I need your help, son. Sure, Pa. Do you think you can keep a secret? Just between the two of us? Yeah, but... There's something I gotta tell you. About your mom? I know. I heard before I got here. I couldn't help it, Pa. I know. Listen. You gotta pretend you ain't seen me. You mustn't tell nobody, here. And this is what I want you to do. Tomorrow night, I want you to make sure everybody's asleep. Make real sure. And get some food. Now, do you remember the cave on the back hill up Spider Creek that you and me found? You mean our secret cave? That's right. I want you to bring the food to me there. In a couple of days, you and me are going to California. California? I can't stay no more. Pa? You didn't tell me where you were all that time. Son, I kept my promise, didn't I? Like I said I would. You sure did, Pa. Trust me, son. I'll tell you everything later. Pa? Be waiting. And remember, son, this is our secret. Hey, Billy! Roll out, we got company. Hello, Hoss. Howdy, Mr. Sherman. How are you, sir? Fine. Marvel? Hello, Hoss. Paul's got the contracts ready for you, Mr. Sherman. Come on in. Good. Well, how's the lumber business? Well, uh, don't reckon it can be any better, Mr. Sherman. These dang trees keep growing as fast as we can cut them. That's good. Keep building in the city, and I'll make you Cartwrights the richest men in Nevada. <laughs> Orville, hey, wait outside here. Uh, Daddy won't be long. Oh, boy. I'm Orville Sherman. Who are you? Here at the desk. Sheriff must have sworn in a dozen extra deputies just to help find that boy's father. Yeah. I reckon folks will be blaming them two convicts with everything that happens within a hundred mile radius of here. Probably so. How's the boy taking it? Well, sir, he he just lost his maw. Don't seem hardly fair to me to have to tell the boy about his paw right after that. I suppose not. My father told me he broke out of jail. You're a liar. Your pa's nothing but a dirty old convict. He is not. He is not. Murder. You liar. You liar. Say it. Say he's a murderer or eat dirt. No. Say it. Say he's a murderer or eat dirt. No. Say it. I'll break your arm. Say it. Say he's a murderer. You're going to eat dirt. Say it. Horrible. He called me a liar, Pa. I'm going to have to take a switch to you. Rolling around in the dirt like a barroom brawler. Now get in that buggy. Go on. Billy, you all right? He said my Pa was a convict. Are you hurt? It's all right, Mr. Sherman. I'll take care of it. You go ahead. Children can be very cruel sometimes. Yes, sir. He said my Paul was a murderer. And that he'd escaped from prison. Billy, it, it's true. I should have told you a long time ago. They, they think he might be coming this way.
couldn't make me eat dirt. You're proud of that, ain't you? No one's gonna say anything about my pa. Billy, I... I ain't saying they should. The, the thing is, it, it don't matter what your ma or pa was, son. Because you ain't them. Now, my ma was a real pretty woman. But that don't mean that folks have got to enjoy looking at a, a big, ugly cuss like me, does it? Don't you see what I mean, Billy? It's more important what you are than what your ma and pa was, or what people might say about them, good or bad. But, Hoss, my pa promised he was going to come back for me. When he does, it's going to explain everything to everybody. We better get you fixed up. I hate to lose a hand with just me and you running this ranch by ourselves, wouldn't you? We haven't got any friends. Folks ain't interested in you and me, son. I never was, and I ain't never gonna be. Nobody? Nobody. Pa? W would it be all right if I said I love you? Sure. That's a good thing. From my honest son. To say to each other. We better get back to the cave. Pa? Yeah? You said you were going to tell me about where you've been. You don't know? A boy said you were a convict and a murderer. Billy, I shouldn't have been sent to prison. But nobody cared. So that's why they sent me. It was pretty bad there, son, so I... I got out. And I come back for you like I promised I would. I knew you would, Pa. You'd have done the same for me, wouldn't you, son? Sure. No matter what. No matter what. You better get going. Pa, do you have to go back to that cave? Yeah. But maybe by tomorrow night, we'll have enough food so we can go to California. Now, you hurry. I don't want no one to find you gone. Be back tomorrow, Pa. <laughs> Let me go, Hoss. I ain't aiming on pulling this trigger unless you make me. Don't you remember me, Hoss? I'm Vance Allen. I rented my farm from your pa. I remember you, Vance. You could say you never seen me. I can't do that. I can help you turn yourself in and then do what I can for you. I got a bad deal once, Hoss. Vance, you got a fair trial. A jury found you guilty. 
I'm busting out of prison. I ain't gonna help you none. I'll go to California. Nobody knows me there. I'll go through the mountains. Nobody's gotta know. What about the little boy? I won't wait for him. I'll go now. I'll send for him later. He brought you that food, didn't he? Yeah, he's a good boy. You could tell him, Hoss. He'd understand. Vance, it just ain't no good. Go on, let's go. Can't you understand? They kept me in a cage like an animal. I had to get up when they say, eat when they say, sleep when they say, work when they say. I can't go back! <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Cartwright. You take enough food along? Yes, everything was fine, Hobson. House up yet? He never get up until he smell cooking. <laughs> the other boys get back? No, sir. Well, I'm hungry enough for three people. Unsaddle the horse to see that he's fed. Huh? You were upstairs asleep. What are you doing up? Vance. Paul, I couldn't help it. He pulled a gun on me, Paul. I didn't even have time to aim. Sure, son. He came back for Billy just like he said he was. Better tell the boy. And Paul. I'll tell him. Ain't nobody can do it for him. Billy? I'm sorry, Billy. I'm terrible sorry. You said you were my friend. You knew he was coming back for me. You killed him. Billy, he didn't leave me no choice. I'm terrible sorry, Billy. I'd do anything to bring your Paul back to you, but I can't. I'm sorry. I hate you, uh, I hate you, I hate you. Kill my pa. I hate you, you killed him. I'm sorry, Billy. I'm terrible sorry. I hate you. Oh, Billy. <coughs> <coughs> Us. 
That boy was not responsible for what he said. You did what you had to do. Paul. Oh. I ain't never had to do anything like that. I hope I never have to do it again. I didn't even sight my gun, boy. I just pulled the trigger. And if you hadn't, he'd have killed you. If I hadn't have butted in, he never would have drawn on me, Paul. Our Vance was a fugitive from justice. You obeyed your duty to the law. There ain't no law that says I can go out and take a man's life away from him. I ain't got no tin badge that says it's all right for me to... to kill a little boy's paw. A little boy that trusted me. I wish I had some... words to take your pain away, Arthur. What am I gonna say to him? What's he gonna think about... Trusting folks and letting folks be his friends now after what I've done to him. What did you think when your mother died? I thought the world had come to an end. But you got over it. And so did I. Paul. I can still feel him little fists hitting and, and hitting me. It hurts, Paul. It hurts worse than anything. I know, son, I know. I've been sitting here... praying as hard as I know how that... God would... tell me what to say to him. We were friends, Paul. I killed his papa with that. I got these big hands, Paul, and I can lift a heifer clean off in the ground. And I can whip most near any man I ever met. But I'd cut them both off. If it'd make that little boy quit looking at me like he wanted to spit. Why don't God help me, Paul? Why don't he tell me what to say? Why do I have to just be a... a big, dumb horse? There's nothing you can say. He'll have to understand by himself. Do you want me to go along with you? No, oh, thank you, Paul. All right, I'll, I'll go on ahead. I'll try to find Adam and little Joe. What about the boy? He's going. He's going to come along with me.
reckon we ought to let these old ponies rest here a minute. Still cool. Howdy. Sir, I'm glad to find you, mister. I'm near dying of thirst. What happened? My horse broke his leg last night. I must have got lost. Who you got under there? It's Vance Allen. He's one of the one of the two escaped convicts the sheriff's looking for. What about the other one? I don't know. Well, you sure are lucky, Mister. You just found me. Don't try anything. Now put your hands in the air. You kid, keep your mouth shut. Mister, the sheriff's got every man in this country looking for you. You ain't got a chance. Oh, you're wrong. I've got every chance now. I've got all this and you to show me through the mountains instead of Vance Allen. That's where you got it wrong. I ain't helping you. Oh, you're going to help me, all right. Or I'll kill the kid right here. You what? I ain't no pushover like Vance Allen. Now, what's it gonna be? The kid? Or are you gonna show me through those mountains? Run, Billy! You're the one I need now. It may take me a while to convince you, but you'll show me through those mountains, won't you? It's Billy. Hello, oh, Billy. What are you doing out here? Where's Hoss? It's with that other man, back in the woods. What other man? The one that was with my pa. Where are they? Can you lead us back to where they are, Billy? Now listen to me, boy. That man is desperate. Now, he could kill Horse. I want you to lead us back to where they are. Horse killed my pa! I hope he does kill Horse! I hope he does! Did you hear what I said, Billy? Take it easy, pa. Billy! Billy! Billy Hoss is my son. And to you, he's big and tough. But he's my boy. Now, I know how you felt about your father. You loved him, no matter what he did. And he loved you. And that's, that's a good thing between a, a father and a son. Now, Billy, that's the way it is between me and my boy. No matter what, what you think of him, I love Hoss, Billy. He's my son. Now, you understand how I feel? I'm, I'm begging you to save his life, Billy. You're the only one who can. I'll show you. That man. He's been here. Big boy, did you have enough? You gonna take me through those mountains now?
It is, Paul. We'd have never found you if it hadn't been for Billy. He's a good boy. Yeah. He's gone. We better go after him. Wait, wait. Let me go. many fish without a pole, can you? You're alive. Yep, I'm alive, Bill. My father. He was like that man, wasn't he? Boy. I reckon he had a little mean streak in him, Billy, but lots of folks do. Billy. Your papa loved you, son. But he did come back for me, didn't he? You bet he did. Can I go back to the ranch? Until my uncle comes? Come on. 